This is my 1948 Remington Rand Deluxe Model 5. I first spotted this machine, I think back in April at an antique store that I go into from time to time. Um, but I didn't pay it too much mind. I don't know why. Um, probably just wasn't something I was looking for at the time, but I came back to it and I was actually surprised by its condition. It still had the uh, spool covers that are usually missing on this model. Um, the platen's in good shape. And overall, it's in nice shape. It works very well. The only cleaning I had to do was cleaning out some eraser shavings uh, that were on the ribbon transport system um, on the gears and things down in there. But other than that, it wasn't. It was in good shape. I didn't even have to do any cleaning to it. It works just as I got it. Um, uh, we did have to. My my father and I replaced the spring for the return lever. Uh, that was broken. The original one was still in there, but it was broken, so we just uh, got another spring and cut it down to size. Now it works well. Um, basically, like most of these Remington portables of this type with the geared tight bars, um, you got a carriage release on either side, the one behind here on the behind the return lever. you got only a fine line adjustment, which you can push in and turn and it locks it in place pretty cool feature uh, this is your carriage lock here you just pull it forward and it locks in and then you push it over a tab that holds it in place your ribbon reversal here paper fingers on either side here and on here um, margin release button this is my first Remington to have a, a keyboard margin release most of them I have the, the other two that I have you have to reach behind the carriage and lift up on the margin um, bar and to release the margin this does have a tabulator and you of course your switch over here for your ribbon selector but when I when I say a tabulator this is a as I've read it a true tabulator the serial number for this machine is BT 196 uh, the, the T in the serial number apparently denotes that it has a tabulator. Now, if you notice here, these are actual settable tab stops. Normally, these Remington portables have the paragraph key or um, a self-starter key, which only advances the carriage about five spaces each time. Pretty interesting. Uh, I guess this was a feature, but most people didn't opt for it, I guess. Most of the ones I've ever seen... That is, I've seen them online mostly. Most of them have the self-starter key. So to have one that has a real tabulator is quite interesting. Um, I forgot to mention, it does have a touch regulator. And as most people will say, it is very effective. Um, when you put it on number five, the keys have a very springy action. When it's down on one, the keys are very light. I keep it at three. That's pretty comfortable. Um... The one thing on this machine that's kind of curious is on the other two Remingtons that I have of this design portable, you know, with the gear type bars, um, you can lock back the, the uh, paper release. On this machine, you can't do that, which is kind of weird. I, I like to do that because it keeps the feed rollers uh, from getting flat spots. Luckily, this machine doesn't have any flat spots, but it's kind of odd that it doesn't lock back. But other than that, pretty cool machine overall. Very nice to type on. This machine and my number two portable are my two top machines. I like to keep them at readily at hand just because I like to use them so much. They're very comfortable. I, I don't know why. It just very nice machines. I bought a Hermes 3000 just before this machine. Um, and I started using that, but I didn't like it as much. And then when I got this machine, which was about $40 different, I actually came to like this machine a lot better than that one. Kind of odd when you think of how many features the Hermes has, but I don't know, there's just something about this design and how it works. It just, for me, it's more comfortable. There you go. Types very well. The platen, as I said, is in very nice shape on this machine, so it grips the paper well and it types very nicely. And it's pretty quiet when you compare it. 
But yeah, that's my 1948 Remington Rand Deluxe Model 5 with a true settable tabulator.